Okay, we're going to finish this uh, geospatial data sources and spatial infrastructure. It's the FGDC Federal Data, uh, Federal Geographic Data Committee, this nat nationwide data publishing effort known as the National Spatial Data Infrastructure, as NSDI, uh, established by presidential order and responsible for standards, policies, and web portals. FGDC activities are administered through the FGDC uh, Secretariat um, hosted by the U.S. Geological Survey and the USGS National Map Viewer, higher resolution seamless image in UTN coordinates, uh, rectifier to remove distortions, 1 meter resolution with 0.5 meter or 1 feet in urban areas, natural color. Uh, the National Elevation Data, NED, seamless raster map with 30 meter resolution for a nation and a 10 meter or better in some areas. Cool. And land cover. Um, natural and man-made surface features collected from satellites in 1992, 2001, and 2006. National hydrology data set, water boundaries, limes, and points. Identifier segment reaches uh, with network coding flow and a direction. There are some international websites uh, that we could use. Um, and I, I did um, Los Angeles. Uh, data, they, they have a good data there for Los Angeles. This one is Chicago, uh, universities, uh, Penn State and the, uh, Carnegie Merriam's, uh, library. They have uh, some good data in private vectors. So right now, private vectors have a, a lot better data because people invest money to do it. And the university, um, you, I don't see a lot of good resources there. And those are the example of local resources. Okay. So now we're going to start with our lab, um, our chapter five. Uh, third, um, book data and chapter five tutorials and number one. So the ArcGIS Pro has more than uh, 5,022 project coordinate systems um, and almost 600 geographic coordinate systems and use 100 map projections for which uh, we may use. Typically though, we will uh, we will need only a relative few projections for most purposes. Uh, geographic coordinate system use latitude and longitude coordinates for locations on the surface um, of the Earth, while a projected coordinate system use a mathematical transform from an ellipse, uh, sl ellipsoid, uh, sphere, sphere, um, spheroid, um, or a sphere to a flat surface and a rectangle coordinates. Geographic coordinates are angles calculated from the intersection of the prime meridian, which runs north and south through Greenwich, um, England, and, and the equator. Longitude, which measures east and west, uh, ranges from 0 degree to 180 degrees east and the same to the west latitude, which measures north and south, ranges from zero degree to ninety degree north, and the, and the same for south. Although we can view two D map uh, maps in geographic coordinates on the flagged computer screen, we will be um, greatly distorted because the coordinates are from a sphere. ArcGIS Pro can easily switch between coordinate systems and map projections on the fly. For world maps, we will change the geographic coordinate system to a projected coordinate system uh, by setting the map um, properties. And now what we're going to do is um, we're going to full extend and the map. I think right now it's already full extend. Okay. Nope. And this map has significant distortions. For example, the line running across the top button of the map should be pointed, uh, should be points, the North and the South Pole. Also, Antarctica and the Greenland are far larger proportional, uh, proportionately than in reality, although perhaps not evident. The lower 48 states of the United States are squashed in the vertical dimension as are Europe and Asia. And now what we're going to do is place the pointer over the uh, westernmost point Africa. 
Uh, read the coordinates for the bottom. Okay, it's it's down here. So the bottom, um, approximately sixteen, um, and twenty north. So let me move up north a little bit. Okay, move to the right, left. Twenty-five already. Okay. Um, the network of lines of the map called a uh, gratitude. So, um, gratitude, and it has thirty degree interval east to west and, and south and north. So it should be right here. Seventeen, twenty north. West there okay so in the contents panel we're going to um, so now um, we have 30 degree interval east and western okay then the projected map of uh, on the fly to hammer uh, art a tof a tof hammer a tof so the system the project coordinate system uh, hammer atov works well on a world map because it is an equal area projection that preserves area for example we want to map population density such as population per square mile the density will be correct so the contents pane we're going to right click world projections and then we will go to property and go to coordinate system uh, the correct coordinate system is GCW1984. So, yep. Mm -hmm. And then we will change it into the project. Um, we will go to projected. Coordinate system. Projected. And then we will go to world. And then go to H hammer eight off eight off okay so then we click OK and zoom to full extension and know that the map display here is coordinate projection on the fly that are not permanent changes to feature class so now we're going to do is we're going to repeat the step for this existence but this time we're going to select Robinson. Start with R. Robinson World. Click OK. So for Robinson, um, this time Robinson projection in the second step. The Robinson projection is most accurate at the mid latitude uh, in both northern and southern hemisphere uh, where most people live. And, and overall, it's appealing um, visibility. Visually, this projected coordinate system minimizes some distortions but still has notable ones such as the lines at the top and bottom that in reality are points. Um, so, as a, a general rule, though, use the Robinson projection for the entire world unless you have a specific need such as mapping population density, which in, um, in which case uh, it's an equal area projection. So. Now we're going to save it and we will move to US map projection. Click yes. So now we're going to do is we will game experience. We already game experience for the projection commonly used for maps for the continental United States. Uh, we will and we will get accurate areas or accurate shapes and angles, uh, but not both when making a projection coordinate system. Um, as a result, use a projection that provides accurate areas at the price of some shape and a direction distortion, such as the Albert's equal area or cylindrical equal area projection. Albert's uh, equal area is the standard projection of both both the US, um, U.S. Geological Survey and the U.S. Census Bureau for U.S. maps for a continental level map, we will change the projected coordinate system to a different uh, projected coordinate system by setting the map projection. So now we're going to do is um, we will use the bookmark, go to map and go to bookmark and go to um, this part is the continental lower 48 
states bookmark initially the map display in project coordinate system using G, uh, WGS 1984 web locator ancillary sphere which is the uh, preferred uh, projected coordinate system for maps to be published in ArcGIS Online. And we're going to set the coordinate system for the United States and the same way we will right click on the um, map projection and we will go to property and then coordinate system and in this box coordinate system we will go to project um, projected um, where is projected we will go to uh, coordinate system scroll up and we will go to continental North America and click OK um, oh, North America we still have cannot click OK we still have to choose um, USA con uh, contig uh, contiguous Alberts equal area conic um, and then click OK so and then zooming to here then we have the Albert equal area projection Albert equal area projection and we go to exper experiment by applying a few other projections to the US map such as the North American equal um, equal distance conic uh, North American equal distance conic. Let's just try it. Uh, North American equal area equal air equal equal distant um, equal distant conic. And then as long as we stay the correct group, uh, continental North America and all the projections look similar. So the conclusion is that the larger the part of the world that you need to project small scale maps, the more distortion. Um, the, there, um, there remains much distortion at the scale of a continent, but much less so than for the entire world. By the time you get to a part of state such as, um, like Al, Algon, Agony County, Pennsylvania. Practically no distortion is left. We will see um, the next one and we're going to save our project and move on. And the projected coordinate systems. So for median and large, uh, large scale maps, uh, we should use the um, localized projected coordinate systems tuned for the study area that have a little or minimal distortion for this purpose collections of projected coordinate systems are divided into zones we must check a reference map to determine which zone the study area is in and select that PCS for the map so we will we will set the project coordinate system state plane for a local level map by adding a first layer to the map and then specify the display units for the map then we will add a second layer that has geographic coordinates and see how that layer is projected on the fly to the state plane coordinates. Finally, we will change the geographic coordinate system for a state level map to use project coordinate system UTM by setting the map property. So let me close this out and start with the 5.3. Okay, and then to look up a zone in the state plane coordinates. So the state plane coordinate system is a set of coordinate system uh, dividing the 50 state uh, U.S. states, uh, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. So it's all right down here. American uh, Som Samoa. Uh, and Guam into 126 numbered zones, each composed of counties, and with its own finally turned map projection, and used mostly by local government agencies such as counties, municipalities, and cities. The state plane coordinate system is for large scale mapping in the United States. The U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey now known as the National Geodetic Survey developed this coordinate system in the 1930s to provide a common reference system for surveyors and map makers.